Hey guys, it's Lisa Kamatsuba here and I just wanted to make this video for those of you entering the new WJF Female Juggler Sponsorship Competition. And it's a big honour that this competition has been named after me. It's called the Lisa Kamatsuba Grant. It's a video competition and the best prize is a $1,000 grant for travel expenses and a WJF Tea and Convention package. So this is the grant that I was lucky enough to receive last year. but. Because I live in New Zealand, it costs a lot to fly to Las Vegas, so I had to somehow raise around $2,500 for flights and accommodation. But luckily I was able to fundraise all the, all the money in time, so I wanted to share my strategies and hopefully give some advice to help you out with your fundraising. So first of all, you want to calculate what your fundraising goal will be. So add up all the travel expenses, accommodation, and however much you think you'll spend at the convention. This is something I wasn't able to do last year, but the best thing I think you should do is make an account on a crowdfunding site. A great way to raise money, um, anyone can look at it, uh, anyone can donate on it, so I highly recommend that. If you still go to school, the first thing you want to do is talk to the principal. Schools are usually supportive of the students, so try and plan a meeting with your principal and let them know about everything, about the WJF and where you want to go and you may be surprised they might be able to support you. You want to plan all the possible ways that you could raise the money. So write them down and make a list of them. If you're a performer, try and perform more, find more gigs. If you're not so much into the performing, maybe you could go busking on the streets. Just anything to get the money. A good one I did was performing at schools. I performed at primary schools. And the way you do this is contact the principal, tell them about yourself, tell them about the WJF, why you want to go, tell them the benefits that you'll get from attending a WJF event, and then tell them what you can offer to them, whether it's a five minute performance, a short show, or even you could offer juggling classes for the kids for affordable prices. Another thing I did which was a great success is put on a fundraiser show. If you have some group of talented friends, like performer friends, try and get them together and have fun putting on a show. Make sure to have a donation box, you never know, you could get extra donations. And make sure to sell lots of food and drinks. And a good thing to do is have a raffle draw. If you can, try and get some raffle prizes sponsored to you. So I was lucky that I have a big group of circus friends, so I was able to get sponsored things like circus tickets, hula hoops and t-shirts. So if you can, try and get some sponsors. And make sure to upload video updates on your fundraising progress. Uh, you want to let people know how closely you're getting to the goal and people will love watching you progress and they'll get excited with you. So do that and some people can get inspired from it as well and you may get a few extra donations from it. I know this all sounds like a lot of work to do but trust me it'll all pay off. Um, I stayed motivated by watching lots of WJF videos and it helped me realise how badly I wanted to go to WJF 9. So I recommend doing that as it is really helpful. And remember, nothing is impossible if you work hard. If you work hard for what you want, you will get it. So good luck on the fundraising and good luck on the Lisa Kamatsuba Grant competition. For more information on that, make sure to check out the WJF website. I'll have the link in the description below. It's an amazing sponsorship that us female jugglers are really lucky to have the opportunity to receive. So work hard on it and most importantly, have fun. Well, that's all the advice I can give. I really hope it helped. Once again, good luck, have fun and thank you for watching.